So Matthias, why do you think people are reticent about being on camera? Mm. Well, I think that, you know, I, I've worked with so many people either through my online video chats, beauty tutoring here in my studio, and, you know, I, I, I've worked with women and men of all ages and nationalities, people who are professional performers and people who aren't. And I think that not everyone is born to be on stage. <laughs> not everyone is ready to, you know, do a song and a dance. Maybe you've had the opportunity to, to be asked by somebody in your family who's getting married maybe you know can you do a dance at our wedding or can you say a speech are you the best man or the bridesmaid or the matron of honor you know it's it's not natural for everyone out there in the world to like say something in front of a a group of people right so it's something that I think we are innately afraid of I think because when we're children you know um, we grow up with fear of being judged we grow up with a fear of being um, looked down upon if we don't fit into you know what the norm is or whatever so it's very deeply psychological in many ways and for some people that we work with it comes easier the most successful people I believe in this world are the the best salespeople. And what we do at TNM Media Services is train you and coach you on how to find the best, most valuable way to sell yourself, to sell your brand, to sell your services. And the best way to do that in today's marketplace, moving into the third decade of the 21st century, is through video. Because being able to sell your goods, your services, um, your experience, no longer is is effective in a headshot and a resume. The whole reason Google changed their algorithms is because social media. If there wasn't Facebook and Instagram and those were so successful, Google wouldn't have said, oh, we need to incorporate video into our Google Analytics. It's like, what came first? I believe that the, the order of which this all happened was reality TV first, social media second. Everyone now wants to be a star on social media, and now Google is following the trend going, well, let's incorporate video because everyone has a video camera now. As I feel like that was the trend moving forward. Reality stars were first. The Osbournes and all those people, they became stars by just being themselves. Then it turned into Instagram. Anyone can be a star with your phone, your camera, YouTube, and then Google changed their algorithms and started incorporating videos. So that was the flow of what happened. You need to get on the social media bandwagon. A social media stars are making millions by just being themselves on camera, and now it's time for you to step into that, that future. Exactly.